a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Faroe Islands The Faroe Islands, sometimes called the Faroe Islands, is an archipelago between the Norwegian Sea and the North Atlantic, about halfway between Norway and Iceland, 200 miles north-northwest of Scotland. The islands are an autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark. Their area is about 1,400 square kilometers with a population of 50,322 in October 2017. The Faroes' terrain is rugged, and the islands have a subpolar oceanic climate, windy, wet, cloudy, and cool. Despite this island group's northerly latitude, temperatures average above freezing throughout the year, because of the Gulf Stream. Between 1035 and 1814, the Faroes were part of the hereditary Kingdom of Norway. In 1814, the Treaty of Kiel granted Denmark control over the islands, along with two other Norwegian island possessions, Greenland and Iceland. The Faroe Islands have been a self-governing country within the Kingdom of Denmark since 1948. The Faroese have control of most domestic matters. Areas that remain the responsibility of Denmark include military defense, the policing, the Justice Department, currency and foreign affairs. However, as they are not part of the same customs area as Denmark, the Faroe Islands have an independent trade policy, and can establish trade agreements with other states. The islands also have representation in the Nordic Council as members of the Danish delegation. The Faroe Islands also have their own national teams competing in certain sports. Etymology In Faroese, the name appears as represents the plural of, older Faroese for, island. Due to sound changes, the modern Faroese word, for island is oidge. The first element, may reflect an old Norse word, al how this analysis is sometimes disputed, because Faroese now uses the word to mean, sheep. Another possibility is that the Irish monks, who settled the island around 625, had already given the islands a name related to the Celtic word, meaning, land, or, estate. This name could then have been passed on to the Norwegian settlers, who then added. The name thus translates as either Islands of Sheep or Islands of Firan. In Danish, the name contains the same elements, though as the definite plural of. In English, it may be seen as redundant to call them the Faroe Islands, since the OA comes from an element meaning island. The name is also sometimes spelled Faroe, most notably in the shipping forecast where the waters around the islands are called pharaohs. History Archaeological evidence shows settlers living on the Faroe Islands in two successive periods prior to the arrival of the Norse, the first between 300 and 600 AD and the second between 600 and 800 AD. Scientists from the University of Aberdeen have also found early cereal pollen from domesticated plants which further suggests people may have lived on the islands before the Vikings arrived. Archaeologist Mike Church noted that de Kuehl mentioned what may have been the pharaohs. He also suggested that the people living there might have been from Ireland, Scotland or Scandinavia, possibly with groups from all three areas settling there. A Latin account of a voyage made by Brendan, an Irish monastic saint who lived around 484-578, includes a description of insularly resembling the Faroe Islands. This association, however, is far from conclusive in its description. De Kuehl, an Irish monk of the early 9th century, wrote a more definite account. In his geographical work Dementia Orbis Terrae he claimed he had reliable information of Hiramati ex Nostra Scotia who had lived on the northerly islands of Britain for almost a hundred years until the arrival of Norse pirates. Norsemen settled the island circa 800, bringing Old West Norse, which evolved into the modern Faroese language. According to Icelandic sagas such as Ferreira Saga, one of the best-known men in the island was Trondarigotu, a descendant of Scandinavian chiefs who had settled in Dublin, Ireland. Tronda led the battle against Sigmund Brestersen, the Norwegian monarchy and the Norwegian church. The Norse and Norse-scale settlers probably did not come directly from Scandinavia, but rather from Norse communities surrounding the Irish Sea, Northern Isles and Outer Hebrides of Scotland, including the Shetland and Orkney Islands. A traditional name for the islands in Irish, Narsidri, possibly refers to the Skegjar, Beards, a nickname given to island dwellers. According to the Ferenga saga, 
More emigrants left Norway who did not approve of the monarchy of Harald Fairhair. These people settled the pharaohs around the end of the 9th century. Early in the 11th century, Sigmund de Brustesen whose clan had flourished in the southern islands before invaders from the northern islands almost exterminated it escaped to Norway. He was sent back to take possession of the islands for Olaf Tridgfusson, king of Norway from 995 to 1000. Sigmund reintroduced Christianity, forcing Trondrigotu to convert or face beheading and, though Sigmund was subsequently murdered, Norwegian taxation was upheld. Norwegian control of the pharaohs continued until 1814, although, when the Kingdom of Norway entered the Kalmar Union with Denmark, it gradually resulted in Danish control of the islands. The Reformation reached the pharaohs in 1538. When the union between Denmark and Norway dissolved as a result of the Treaty of Kiel in 1814, Denmark retained possession of the Faroe Islands. Norway itself was joined in a union with Sweden. As part of mercantilism, Denmark maintained a monopoly over trade with the Faroe Islands and forbade their inhabitants trading with others. The trade monopoly in the Faroe Islands was abolished in 1856, after which the area developed as a modern fishing nation with its own fishing fleet. The national awakening from 1888 initially arose from a struggle to maintain the Faroese language and was thus culturally oriented, but after 1906 it became more political, with the foundation of political parties of the Faroe Islands. On 12 April 1940 British troops occupied the Faroe Islands, shortly after the German invasion of Denmark on 9 April 1940. In 1942-1943 the British Royal Engineers, under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel William Law MC, built the only airport in the Faroe Islands, Vagar Airport. Control of the islands reverted to Denmark following the war, but Danish rule had been undermined, and Iceland's independence served as a precedent for many Faroese. The Faroese Independence Referendum 1946 resulted in 50.73% in favor of independence to 49.27% against. The Faroe Islands subsequently declared independence on 18 September 1946. However, this declaration was annulled by Denmark on 20 September on the grounds that a majority of the Faroese voters had not supported independence, and King Christian X of Denmark dissolved the Faroese logging on 24 September. The dissolution of the Logting was on 8 November followed by the Faroese parliamentary election of 1946 in which the parties in favour of full independence received a total of 5,396 votes while the parties against received a total of 7,488 votes. As a reaction to the growing self-government and independence movements, Denmark finally granted the Faroe Islands home rule with a high degree of local autonomy on 30 March 1948. In 1973 the Faroe Islands declined to join Denmark in entering the European Economic Community. The islands experienced considerable economic difficulties following the collapse of the fishing industry in the early 1990s, but have since made efforts to diversify the economy. Support for independence has grown and is the objective of the Republican Party. Geography the Faroe Islands are an island group consisting of 18 major islands about 655 kilometers off the coast of northern Europe, between the Norwegian Sea and the North Atlantic Ocean, about halfway between Iceland and Norway, the closest neighbors being the Northern Isles and the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. Its coordinates are distance from the Faroe Islands to the islands cover an area of 1,399 square kilometers and have small lakes and rivers, but no major ones. There are 1,117 kilometers of coastline. The only significant uninhabited island is Leetledemon. The islands are rugged and rocky, with some low peaks. The coasts are mostly cliffs. The highest point is Sletteratinda in northern Eysturoy, 882 meters above sea level. The Faroe Islands are dominated by tholeitic basalt lava, which was part of the Great Thulean Plateau during the Paleogene period. Climate The climate is classed as subpolar oceanic climate according to the Köppen climate classification CFC, with areas having a tundra climate, especially in the mountains, although some coastal or low-lying areas can have very mild winter versions of a tundra climate. The overall character of the island's climate is influenced by the strong warming influence of the Atlantic Ocean, which produces the North Atlantic Current. 
This, together with the remoteness of any source of warm air flows, ensures that winters are mild while summers are cool. The islands are windy, cloudy and cool throughout the year with an average of 210 rainy or snowy days per year. The islands lie in the path of depressions moving northeast, making strong winds and heavy rain possible at all times of the year. Sunny days are rare and overcast days are common. Hurricane Faith struck the Faroe Islands on 5 September 1966. With sustained winds over 100 miles per hour and only then did the storm cease to be a tropical system. The climate varies greatly over small distances, due to the altitude, ocean currents, topography and winds. Precipitation varies considerably throughout the archipelago. In some highland areas, snow cover can last for months with snowfalls possible for the greater part of the year, while in some sheltered coastal locations, several years pass without any snowfall whatsoever. Torshaun receives frosts more often than other areas just a short distance to the south. Snow is also seen at a much higher frequency than on outlying islands nearby. The area receives on average 49 frosts a year. The collection of meteorological data on the Faroe Islands began in 1867. Winter recording began in 1891, and the warmest winter occurred in 2016-17 with an average temperature of 6.1 degrees Celsius. Nature A collection of Faroese marine algae resulting from a survey sponsored by NATO, the British Museum and the Carlsberg Foundation, is preserved in the Ulster Museum. It is one of 10 exocate sets. Flora The natural vegetation of the Faroe Islands is dominated by Arctic alpine plants, wildflowers, grasses, moss and lichen. Most of the lowland area is grassland and some is heath, dominated by shrubby heathers, mainly Coluna vulgaris. Among the herbaceous flora that occur in the Faroe Islands is the cosmopolitan marsh thistle, Cisium paluster. Although there are no trees native, to the Faroe Islands, limited species were able to be successfully introduced to the region, including the black cottonwood, also known as the California poplar. A few small plantations consisting of plants collected from similar climates such as Tierra del Fuego in South America and Alaska thrive on the islands. Fauna The bird fauna of the Faroe Islands is dominated by seabirds and birds attracted to open land like heather, probably because of the lack of woodland and other suitable habitats, many species have developed special fair OE subspecies, common ida, common starling, Eurasian wren, common mer, and black guillemot. The pied raven was endemic to the Faroe Islands, but has now become extinct. Only a few species of wild land mammals are found in the Faroe Islands today, all introduced by humans. Three species are thriving on the islands today, mountain hare, brown rat, and the house mouse. Apart from these, there once was a local domestic sheep breed, the Faroe sheep. A variety of feral sheep survived on Leet Ledemon until the mid-19th century. Grey seals are common around the shorelines. Several species of cetacea live in the waters around the Faroe Islands. Best known are the long-finned pilot whales, which are still hunted by the islanders in accordance with long-standing local tradition. Killer whales are regular visitors around the islands. The domestic animals of the Faroe Islands are a result of 1,200 years of isolated breeding. As a result, many of the island's domestic animals are found nowhere else in the world. Faroese domestic breed include Faroe Pony, Faroe Cow, Faroe Sheep, Faroese Goose, and Faroese Duck. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like